What's up guys? This is what I'm going to be showing you guys, talking about um, a product that I can't wait to get out and use this fall, the Trophy Line Hyperlite Stick. So um, obviously I was never a saddle guy, swore I'd never do it. A couple years ago, Sean over at Trophy Line talked me into just trying it. He drove out to the farm, me and Micah both tried it, said, you know what? I think we've been missing something. So uh, we started hunting out of them and pretty much exclusively hunt out of them now, like 95% of the time we are in a saddle. That being said, um, they have just continued to get better and better and better. And now we are here at the Hyperlite Stick. Um, it's an unbelievably light, compact option for sticks. So we've been from, as a kid, ladder stands, climbing stands, to putting up big 20 foot ladder sticks to ladder sections to now all the way down to sticks that don't weigh anything here let's see if i can show you what this weighs four sticks with straps on it uh let me clear this out hook this on so you can see zeroed out hook it on Come on, Levi. Wrong one. So what does that say right there? Five pounds total. All your sticks go as far as you want, um, as far as you need to go. I might even run a fifth stick if I want to go really high because honestly, these things are so light. Now, let me show you how I have this uh, rigged up here since that just came apart. So they come like this right here out of the box. I'm not gonna open that box. You just have to take my word for it. This is how they come. Then you get your straps or ropes that go around the tree. So I'm gonna show you how I have mine rigged up really quick. Um, then I'm gonna go out and do another video later. Uh, this is kind of my first initial day with the Hyperlites. And honestly, I can't believe how how light and compact they are. So what I did is now we have this rope. I don't even know what it's called to be honest, but it's way lighter than straps, way less noisy, and it's longer to go around way bigger trees, which has been a complaint of mine in the past. So the way I just rigged it up is you got these two holes here. Um, so what I did was you're gonna come through the back side. This is at least what I did. And strap it down like that. But what I didn't like about that was if I'm climbing and this gets pushed over the edge and I don't know it, that could not, that could be pretty bad. So what I did is once I pulled it through, I just went ahead and pulled my rope through. Again, I don't read instructions. I haven't watched anybody else's video on this. Um, this is just me going through it, thinking that this would be best. So I just pull my monkey fist um, and then the rest of my rope through that. And now that loop is on the inside. So this is keeping it from getting pushed over. You can see that it's keeping it from getting pushed, the loop getting pushed over that lip. So then um, this would go around the tree. You would come back around the tree, then back through here, um, obviously the same way on the other side with your Prusik knot or monkey fist, whatever you call it. And then you adjust to the size of the tree like that. Um, pretty awesome system, super fast, super light, which is what anybody that's using a saddle is looking for, to be honest with you. Um, you're looking for quiet, light, something you can walk a long ways with, hang in a crooked tree, um, and still get everything done that you need to get done. So. Um, really, really pumped about this system right here. So let's show you how I've got it hooked in here. So I once I get that done, what I do is I come down, wrap around the bottom, stay towards the outside here, go another wrap, and then I'm going to take my monkey fist knot right there and then tighten it and then strap this bungee on the bottom. So 
that is what it looks like once I have one of my sticks done. And the thing about these things is they stack so nice. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a video on how I quieten my sticks down, but I mean, they stack so flat. And so once you have all yours done like this, they still stack together. I'll show you right here. Sorry, I don't have mica. I'm just self filming my, or filming myself today. So they still stack just the same. So they come off, that one goes on, comes off, goes on. So you have your straps. You no longer have to carry straps in your side pouch on your saddle, which weigh a ton. And at, like then trying to put them on and pull them out while you're going up. Literally, you have your stick, strap, everything. Take the bungee off, loosen that up, come around, go around the tree, tighten it up, boom. That's how quick you can set these things up. I'm gonna do a video on that as soon as I have mica, but I'm not about to go out and try to film myself doing that because that would be an absolute nightmare. So anyways, this is my first impression, first day. I knew they were coming. I kind of had an idea what it was gonna look like, but honestly, guys, I cannot wait to run these Hyperlite sticks this fall. Um, I don't even know, they've been selling out of them every time they, they release them. So I don't know if they're in stock right now, but if they are, if I were you, I'd pick a set of them up. Um, and then I'm gonna go do a video later on how high I can go with four, whether or not I'm gonna run seven or five instead of four, how many I'm gonna run, if I'm gonna run eighters, which I probably will, just to that first step especially. Um, but yeah, that is the new Hyperlite sticks from Trophy Line. So. Make sure you guys check them out. Insanely, insanely thin, compact, literally smaller than my hand, width-wise, so. All right, guys, thank you.